What's up guys, Justin from Bite and Fight Angler. And today, we're gonna, we're gonna do a pin fish. We're gonna, we're gonna do our best to try to make a pin fish with our new mold, with our five inch, with our five inch open pour with the new boot tail with the bigger tail. We're gonna pour our first actual custom. And uh, so stay tuned and I'm gonna go through a little step-by-step -step process and let y'all kind of see everything maybe in a little bit faster motion. First, we gotta get this plastic. You should know if you've made it to uh, the buckets, the five gallon buckets, that you have to stir pretty well to get all of the hardener and everything mixed up. So, uh, if you don't know, now you know. Now to start it out, to start out we're going to do the skin pour so that we can do our artistic work on the skin pour. So first things first, we got to get some clear plastic. So right here I have three quarters of a cup. This is a one cup. With hand pouring you don't need much. Put it in the microwave for about eh, two to two and a half minutes. Maybe three depending on your microwave strength. So uh, we're gonna get that cooked up and get back with you. So while the microwave is cooking the plastic, we'll go ahead and kind of get all of these taken apart like this. Just set the hardware to the side. Now we have all our molds just kind of laid out. And what we're gonna do with that plastic is we're gonna pour it in here and make kind of a shell. So that way I can show you what the next step is gonna be. We're just gonna set the hardware to the side. All the lip, uh, all the belly slots and all the screw locks. We're just gonna set those to the side for a second. So you wanna stir it up. You wanna stir it up real good. You'll see a one, like a little spot that's kinda of white. That's gonna be your hardener in there. You're gonna wanna stir that in real good. You don't wanna breathe the fumes. I have three fans going right now. One, because it's hot. Two, because it's hot and three so I don't breathe the fumes so that's one thing some people wear masks I'm working right next to my garage door so I have everything blowing straight out very hardly if anything is getting inhaled uh, so we're just gonna stir it it's straight clear right now it's pretty bubbleless but what we're gonna do next come right over here and we have a degassing chamber. Any bubbles or any air moisture that's in there, this actually sucks all of the air out. So we're gonna be getting all of the air out of there right now. Everything that you're seeing right now is has been bought over time through the through the making of everything. You don't have to start with one of these whenever if you're using them to make them yourself it's definitely uh not something that you have to have or need to have this is something that you want to have whenever you're selling to others so that way that you can get all the bubbles out you don't have any of the micro bubbles things like that you're still going to have some but uh but i mean that just comes with it but you want to try to get out as many as you can but this right here is a degasser you can find them on amazon for around 200 200 250 bucks uh, I can't remember exactly what the size this one is but it's it's pretty good sized let's see if I can show you your plastic is gonna look kind of like boiling water somewhat let me just let it out 
you want to do this very slow you don't want to open the lever all the way up or it will splash your plastic everywhere look at that don't breathe that don't breathe it oh I'm already recording all right, so the, the plastic's still good and hot. So what we're gonna do now is skim pour. We're just gonna pour carefully to just cover this, and then we're just gonna pour the, the plastic back into the, we just wanna try to get full coverage and then dump it back in. Get that out of that. All right, so now that we've got that done, next step is we got to clean them up. And this is easy with these aluminum molds. So, what you're gonna do, as you can see the excess right here, you're literally just on that edge, you're just gonna push down, and it's just gonna come right off. Just like that. And then you got your ex ex excess plastic. There's nothing else anywhere else on that one, so we're good. And just kind of double check, make sure you got good coverage, because if you didn't, the easy part about, let me pour this down a little further. The easy part about it is you can just literally pull this whole thing out, heat your plastic back up a little bit, and re-pour the whole thing again. <laughs> All right, next step, get them over to the table. All right, now that we're here, we'll go over something. So this whole thing is just mica powder. Uh, you can get this on Amazon, not expensive. You don't need all the expensive stuff. Uh, I am gonna use something though from Lure Works, which is uh, your typical powders. But I may not because uh, this color here, this and that are the three colors. These are the three colors that I need to make what I'm gonna make. Now, I took my iPad or my laptop inside, so I gotta go grab that now, and I'll be right back. You can get these really cheap. This says over a $45 value. I think they were like maybe 10 bucks, and uh, I only kept certain ones. My daughter, she's a big time artist, so she she got most of them. Well, I don't see the one that I was gonna use, but this one here is pretty close. It's got the blues and the golds and the, and the black. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that picture crazy with it, man. Don't worry about getting both sides exactly the same. Nothing. I don't like that picture, though. There we go. Looks like the first thing we need to start off with is a dot. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna get some of my black pigment. Got a little paper towel here. Try to keep it from blowing everywhere. It's going to give me a little spot like that. Not much at all. This one's going to work. And I'm just going to come 
straight down right, right there. Think about it. Same thing right here. Kind of the same spot. Think about it. You want these to kind of dry up. I wish there was a way to instantly dry it. This is just a black mica powder. So, we did the black, we did a little accent. Now, it's mainly blue. And I'm just going to start right here behind the dot. I might get a little bit in front of it here. But uh, now what we're going to do is just put a little bit of the blue at the top because it's mainly blue. Make sure you clean your hands because you don't want to touch any of this because it's going to uh, it's gonna get on it. And we'll get another one of these uh, little paint brushes. I want to do those little bars first. We're just very carefully painting these mica powders. I've got blue, I've got gold. Creases right there. And right now, that's what we're looking at. Okay, so now that we've got all that pour or all that painted, now I'm going to pour just a tiny tip of the tail chartreuse. I'm going to do chartreuse and then I'm going to do pearl. And that's going to be the two colors that I pour. And the rest of the detail and all the colors are going to be from what I just painted. I'm about to start warming up this hot plate over here. I'm going to reheat that clear that I used. And I'm just going to put some uh, pearl in that. Chartreuse. Chartreuse right there. That in the degassing chamber, so we'll have that ready in just a minute. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this chartreuse and I'm going to pour it in the tips of the tail, hopefully. I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm messing it up. Alright. I hope I did not just screw that up. This is a little bit different than pouring just normally because I'm trying to not. Normally I wouldn't be that mess worried about it. Give that about 15 seconds and we'll pour them in. Hope for the best. Oh man, I hope I didn't mess it up with those tails. Alright, here we go. We're just going to top them off. Now we have to just kind of let them cook and go take a shower, let them cool down, and we'll show y'all the finished project. There you have it. We got four of our swim baits made up. 
Uh, I will be posting them on the website at www.bitingfightangler.com and you can buy the baits. And this was all done in the five inch Mattis bait molds. It's an awesome mold. I also have these available if you want to pour your own baits at, at www.bitingfightangler.com. On the website's homepage, you can find this in the featured items. It's $80 free shipping. Man, I can't I can't explain to you enough how good that tail mold that tail came out. And there's the finished product of the pin fish that I just finished with. Awesome design. Awesome outcome. Bite and fight angler, Mattis bait molds. Go get you some.